Sue and I are wrapping up our stay here on a windy day at the Cabana Club RV Resort in Auburndale. Tomorrow we're actually going to be relocating uh, to the Tampa show. Thank God for Sue. She noticed that we're not a company. We're a flogger. <laughs> and we were lucky enough to snag this spot. It's actually a spot at the Cabana Club here that was not open until a few days ago. You can see in back of me there's a construction fence and there's uh, construction in back of that fence. Uh, otherwise, we would have had to leave the Cabana Club because the club is so busy with RVers that are staging themselves for the Tampa RV show like we are. But since we were here for almost two weeks, this place has a fantastic staff that worked with trying to find a place for us to stay and lo and behold, they found it. We didn't have to leave. We quite frankly didn't want to leave early because uh, unbeknownst to us, the motorhome club called uh, All Inclusive Motorhome Club, AIM, which we're actually members of, they had a rally here. And so we were able to sneak in for a couple of the talks and different things that happened here. But uh, I'll show you the tent here in a second when I rotate the camera around. But what we're really doing today is we're gonna take a walk over to look at the National Indoor RV mobile uh, retro band and pro tang install trailer that they bring to different rallies. You can see this giant tent in the background. That's where all the festivities are every night. Great food, great entertainment. You get to meet uh, all of your fellow uh, motor coach owners. You get to talk about the new ones, the old ones, and uh, your uh, loves and your likes and your funny problems and your serious problems. It's, it's just a, a great event for any uh, serious motorhome owner to join. So if you'd like to investigate further what this AIM Club, A-I-M, is all about, All Inclusive Motorhome, just type that in, A-I-M, and go to their home page and you'll be able to see the different events that are upcoming. And if you click on each and every one of these events, you'll see the different places they go and kind of the theme or philosophy of that particular rally. Now, at each of these rallies, the over-the-road crew will be there, so any of the installation uh, equipment talked about in this video, you will be able to get done at any uh, of these events. Uh, the trailer is eventually going to get wrapped, but it's pretty incognito now, but you can see how giant it is. It's a triple axle gadget and they're able to do uh, all of the retro band installs when you come to these rallies and this trailer really was configured nice here's a good shot of the retro band uh, in a clear bodied version you can see if you're looking through like an x-ray vision of what actually is inside the retro band to eliminate any stress fractures in this area. If this connection is tightened too much, you can see that as it's tightened, this steel band here that is uh, welded to this band on this side, you can see that the band itself actually is one thick band that goes around you can sort of see a tube a hollowed out area I'm gonna stick my finger in it right here right here you can see my finger going in that's where the threaded portion of the gearbox and the shaft that runs through the gearbox goes. So this cavity here in the center that's provided is clearance for the shaft, and that's why the steel band that although it looks like it's in the neighborhood of a half, one and a half to one and a quarter inches wide, splits and then goes either side to be able to provide support for that pin. 
So let's check out the inventory inside the show trailer. In the front end here, I guess, is where it all starts. Because first you have to see if they have your size retro band in stock. And you can see they've got uh, quite a few of them, all different sizes. I don't uh, exactly know. You'd have to check what the current size inventory is that's available. On this side of the rally trailer, in each of these bins are the different size protein units that they have. <clears throat> these uh, are sized based on the volume of the compartment that they're trying to protect from a fire standpoint. I would imagine some of these bigger bins down here, when you'd open them up, they would have the big daddy tubes uh, for the uh, diesel engine compartments. So here we have the uh, model that I've shown in the past that shows what a retro band looks like when it's on the rim. And I think the uh, most important factor is, is that this distance here that provides in a uh, blowout scenario that you're not riding on the rim, that you're gonna be riding on this. When you have something like this in that can assist the tire right away when it starts to have an issue, your tire most likely uh, will be able to survive enough that it will help you to be able to uh, get over to the side of the road and maybe even drive a little distance to get off into a safe area. And that's the beauty of it. You can see that this trailer is uh, lit very well. It actually looks like it has uh, an air conditioning unit in it to help on the days when it gets a little bit sweltering in here. On this side, you can see that they have the all-important refrigerator to stay hydrated, but then they have uh, cabinets for uh, coveralls and things. You can see that they have their own on-board compressor here to be able to provide that high pressure. And in fact, they have a gas uh, Cummins uh, generator here so that they can be as self-sufficient as they need to be depending upon what they're provided at uh, the particular rallies. Let's go look in the front at the actual equipment that is used to put the tires on. You can see when I started this video, this is the area that is still being developed at the uh, Cabana Club RV Resort here, which uh, as of two days from now, the name of it's changing, I think, to a Margaritaville branded uh, RV park. I can tell you that this place was one of the nicest places we stayed at from an overall experience standpoint. The people are, they, they know how to run a place and they were very accommodating and always very helpful. So this is the business end of the trailer here, and let's say you bought uh, the uh, retrobands to be installed. They would first put it on this uh, Hunter TX, TCX635 uh, gadget here, and we actually have a video where we had our retrobands put on at National Indoor RV. I will link up in the corner of this video that episode so you can see it in its entirety. But this is at least as good, maybe even the next generation uh, equipment. Very impressive with this sled on the bottom here to assist the guys to be able to pull down the uh, opening or the available area that you have to work with when you're trying to put the retro band in. Um, to have this machine helping you do the muscle, uh, you can see that it raises up and down uh, by virtue of this mechanism here. And if you catch the tire on one of those fingers there, the rim, and then you raise the actual center of the tire, you can open up that opening and put that uh, retro band in. You need to take your 900 to 1200 dollar tire when you've got this protective device put in it you need to balance it correctly 
and you need some good computerized equipment that will balance it in all of the different ways tires get out of balance and you can see that this is all uh, uh, you know a digital control uh, outfit there that uh, pretty much does most of the thinking and work for the operator on a previous video that we did uh, a couple of years ago when I had my retrobands uh, installed and new tires put on uh, you can see the Centromatic balancing discs that I have added to all of the wheel positions on our rig. We purchased uh, six Centromatic balancing discs and those things are their own advantage to have on your rig in case you have a tire issue. And in the old days we remember you go to the gas station and they look inside this tire and they might uh, say oh yeah we can we can see where the hole is and and they'll put a patch on the inside here and, and then they'll put it all back together but then they will test it with a water tub to see if it's leaking well that's not how it works in the real world of owning a motorhome when you have a flat and you have somebody come out from coachnet or one of the other uh, people that repair tires you have to make a decision at that point if you're going to trust to definitively know where your flat was on your tire i can tell you i had an instance where we could not determine where the flat was and he, uh, the guy was ready to take a couple of guesses and put a couple of patches on but then I would be three four hundred miles down the road at my next campground and then I may or may not have a flat again in the morning uh, it was one of the rear tires so it wouldn't have been quite as chancy as the front but nonetheless I put a new tire on so I always tell people that pretty much every time you get a flat that if it's not a uh, clean cut nail uh, kind of in the center of the tire so it doesn't compromise the sidewalls. Uh, you could pretty much count then on your flat being a uh, thousand bucks because you've got to replace the tire. Now not, there isn't probably a road crew around that will show up with a changer like this. They're going to muscle that tire off with uh, uh, pry bars and they certainly aren't going to show up with any balancing equipment like this. So that's the beauty of the Centromatic balancing disc is when you have your first flat you buy a new tire you put it on there and even though that tire was balanced previously your Centromatic balancing discs will always be uh, rebalancing on the fly any speed you're at and it will compensate for that new tire put on with no weights at all I drove for about three years on a tire that was never balanced and it had no abnormal wear and it did not vibrate because those Centromatic balancing discs did the trick. Big advocate of them. We have them listed in our Amazon store. Check it out so at least you know what I'm talking about. So when they have to take the tires off, they'll show up with the uh, Milwaukee Tool Super Duper Red Lithium uh, High Output Torque Wrench to get the nuts off and uh, spin them on temporarily but they will do the job right when they're all done and torque them to the prescribed torque so here's a 25 ton portable air jack to hold the coach safely in the air during your tire change took the liberty to pop off this uh, cover here you can see that they have more than enough pro tangs ready to rock when you are ready for an install. So if you'd like to learn more about the ProTang fire suppression system, you should go to the ProTang.com website and watch this video that was put together by National Indoor RV. They're the uh, designated RV installation center nationwide to install these things and Angie Morell put together an excellent video here which really drives home the importance of having a fire suppression system because you can see this young lad here how he goes through this window super fast super flexible the guy's like a Gumby and watch Angie's face here when she goes wow 
Now, after you watch that, you can watch the more amateur video that Sue and I put together when we had our ProTang system installed at National Indoor on episode 201. And if you're a glutton for punishment, we also recommend to watch episode 137, which illustrates all the other safety things that we do. We talk about uh, on a skateboard and our smoke detectors and all the different fire extinguishers we have. Hey, thanks for stopping by, and Sue and I will see you next week.